Hello, hello everyone! Welcome to my stream. I am Chesh. How are you? Oh, thanks for subbing, Jag. Thank you. Wakes up from a nap and slowly gets comfortable for another. Hey, that sounds actually quite lovely. I wish I could take another nap, but instead, tonight, we're going to be playing some Hades. And, on top of that, we're going to do snack reviews, which we haven't done in a while. So, hi, Soot, how are you? How are you doing, Jag? We're going to do some snack reviews. Uh, we found an Indian food market near us, and I just dropped one of the snacks on the floor. Okay. We found an Indian food market near us, and I am really, really excited. We found some cool things, so I'm going to... We're not going to get to all of them tonight. Uh, I'm going to disperse them a little bit. Because uh, there's there's a lot here. Um, but we've got some fun things to try. And I'm really excited. Uh, one of the things that I grabbed. Apparently Lay's. Like flavored Lay's chips. Are very popular in India. So we got some. India's Magic Masala. Lay's chips. Just pulls out some chips in a Heineken bottle. There, there you go. There you go. Om nom with me. So we might try these ones tonight. Um, another thing that is very happy, popular there, instead of Kit Kats in India, they like Cadbury. So I got a couple different Cadbury bars to try. I got the caramel and a fruit and nut one. Uh, the fruit and nut one and... The Lay's chips were at the suggestion of the checkout lady. These, she said these are her two favorite snacks in the store, and she loves these too. So we're going to try these at her suggestion. Um, we got a few drinks. Hi, Rudan. How are you? Uh, I'm showing off some of the, the Indian snacks that we are possibly going to be trying over the next few streams and reviewing. Um... We decide, I decided to try some interesting drinks. These are almond milk drinks. So there is saffron. There is rose. <laughs> yes, uh, I am going to save the snack re redeem um, until a little bit more towards the middle of the stream. Because that's when we do snack reviews. Uh, but I do appreciate the redeem. Um, we got stuff to review. Uh, something I did notice with Indian food is they seem to really like butterscotch. So I also found butterscotch. And I am a big fan of butterscotch flavored things. So I'm excited to try these. Um, I'm not sure which one we're going to try tonight. Um, I found a Creams Elache. Or Elaichi. I, I think this is a milk flavor. I also got pineapple. Oop. Pineapple. And then these are Fabi, which look to be chocolate chip flavored cookies. And these are orange chocolate chip flavored cookies. <laughs> Almost spelled it butterscotch. You don't, <laughs> Sanity, you don't like almond. I like almond stuff. Yes, I got, we got quite a few things and there's more stuff upstairs that we tried separate because they were things that Tactifail tried out and picked out. Oh, you're allergic. That, that makes sense. So yeah, maybe don't try the almond drinks. Um, the other thing that I found was some fruitcake. And I'm excited to try this too. It looks like it might be, it looks delicious either way. So... Uh, we also got, like, some rusk and stuff. It, we got a lot of stuff. We were very excited to find the Indian market near us. Oh, I also found a butterscotch kulfi, which is kind of like an ice cream. Um, and I think we'll be trying that tonight because it's just here in my fridge. I meant to put that in the proper freezer, but I think it'll be okay. It should be cold enough where I have it. Um, so we've got lots of cool snacks to try. I figured I would let you all decide some of the snacks that we do try tonight. Um, for now, I'm going to set them aside and let's pull up some Hades or Gaties, as we call it. Um, I'm really excited to try some Indian snacks. Ah! 
Thank you for the gift sub, Sanity. <laughs> I think Prim is going to be very excited about that. Yes, the Gaties. Gaties. Gaties nuts. All right. Um, yeah. Glad we are all excited for snack reviews because it's been a little while. It's been a little while since we've done snack reviews and... These are Indian snacks, and I'm excited because usually we do a lot of Japanese snacks, so it's a chance for me to learn some new snacks. Um, and these are all safe for me and safe for anyone who has artificial sweetener uh, problems like I do. Um, there, There is like soy and wheat, and some of them have almond and stuff, so... If you have nut allergies and stuff, you do still need to check the packaging, but these are safe for me and my personal um, needs. <laughs> You're excited? Prim, show, show off the emotes. Yes, yes, feel free to show off all the emotes. Because uh, now you have all of them, Prim. Um, and for anyone who doesn't know, I am the creator of my own emotes. <laughs> Uh, I, I drew all of them, <laughs> all the bits and bobs. All right, let's get to the game. <laughs> I love watching them bounce across the, st the screen. It makes me giggle. <laughs> all right, how is everyone? Prim, I know you've been busy all day. How How is everyone? How are you, Sanity? How are you, Soot? How are you, Jag? How are all of you? How are you, Rudan? You've been visited by family? I'll try to I'll try to keep from I'm swearing then. You're busy and tired. I'm sorry you're tired. And spent the last couple days playing board games. Ooh, which board games? A bit hungover, but survived some drama. That's always good. Surviving drama is always a good thing. But they're all asleep right now, so you're good. Oh, okay. Closer to the surface. I, I'm glad they're sleeping. Got it. I don't have to, to censor myself to PG. Good to know. <laughs> I mean, I can. Oh, oh yeah, I'm using the bow. I'm using the bow and I've got the butterfly. That's right. We took a chance to romance the fan. Time to fight. Nah. Oh no, I got hit. I need to go take a bath before cocktails, but thank you so much for the sub sanity and have a good stream. I will have a good stream. Enjoy your bath. That does sound honestly quite nice. <laughs> There's a PG option? No way. <laughs> I might I might have to change the outfit or at least throw a blanket uh, over myself for completely PG, but uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a fun, fun challenge. PG. <laughs> a fun little, little redeem. Keep it PG <laughs> for five minutes. I do like Doom. Doom is nice. Oh, I actually did not mean to do that. Oh well. It's just more experience, right? That would be chaotic or something like that. <laughs> Might not be super chaotic. Could just be, you know, amusing. <laughs> I have regrets over accidentally picking this. Do not lose this boy. She is father. Now what? Um, hmm. Well, we got everything we needed for keys, so let's go for the darkness. We need the darkness. We could be traumatic about it. 
I, I did get some heal, yeah. Just not as much as I would have liked. <laughs> Ouch. I kind of regret picking the butterfly. I... I don't think I'm a good enough gamer for the butterfly to be of benefit for me, if we're being honest, because I'm... You're six off max, no complaining. Okay. <laughs> I won't complain then. <laughs> I, I do feel like the butterfly is wasted on me though, for sure. Um, next time I get a chance to change it, I'm probably going to switch back to the Feather Duster. Just because I'm not- I'm not ever hitting that bonus. I- I'm- I'm taking damage almost every time, so... You know. I have a need for some speed, though, so let's go for this. Oh, there's fishing spot. Can I go fishing while I'm actively in combat? That would be amusing, honestly. That doom is is nice. I like that doom effect. I like that doomster. That's a nice doomster. Meh! Quit jumping around. There we go. Place is crawling with these. Yeah, there's a lot of bomby boys here. Bomby boys with, you know, armor. Yo, stop. Stop moving. Nope. Yeah. I like Dreamy Boy, but I don't think I like his his thing. We could see you from Olympus a bit more than usual, but no, it's like you're shrouded in eternal night up here. Something like that. Hard, right? Weird. That is very odd indeed. Um, what do I have for cast? I don't have any cast yet. Yeah, who could be shrouding? <laughs> Gotta go rehydrate. That's a good idea. Who could possibly be shrouding a fan? That that's just interesting. That's that's interesting. Um, specials faster or auto dodge. I feel like auto dodge is nice. I managed to convince my family not to sing birthday song out in public. That's impressive. Sure, why not? Impressive that you managed to get out of them. I got a flame eater. I must have got a rare fish. Neat. Ooh. Do you want Ares or Athena? If I can get bronze skin, that might be nice. That might be nice. Bronze skid is a nice ability. Show off? A spine out there. What am I showing off? What'd I do? Oh wait, I gotta take care of the one thing. Oh right. <laughs> you I'm sorry. I didn't Listen, I'm always impressed with myself when I can manage to do something with good timing, because that, like, never happens to me. I am not... I am not very fast in the reflex department. I did not glitch the game! <laughs> Listen, I haven't glitched a game in a while. Not a- and I never do it on purpose, okay? It's always an accident. 
Is this game pre-glitched, pre right? Yeah. We, we, we buy our games pre-glitched. Speaking of games pre-glitched, uh, for some reason, um, Spyro on my computer has a glitch. And he, he doesn't even, like, run animation. He just, like, slowly slides around the map. I don't know what happened. It's the Steam version. And it's only the second game. But he just, like, slides around. He doesn't even... He... <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know if my download, like, borked somehow. And I just need to re-download it. But he just, like, slides around. And it's the weirdest thing. I don't know what I did. One of my streamer friends was playing my favorite game for the first time recently and her version of the game was so janky. Oh no. What? What game? Appreciate the backup. What game is she playing that it's, that is janky? That she has a different version of it. Ori and the Will of Will of the Wisps. Why does that sound familiar? Look, Eurydice, I promise not to bother you with this each time, but you should know your husband's shattered by what happened with the two of you. He's genuinely sorry, and he loves you very deeply still, I'm sure of it. And what am I supposed to do with that, your royal majesty? What is Ori on? What, what system is Ori on? Because I might... I might look that up. I, I've been trying to resist the urge to look up the lore for... Oh, it's on Switch. Okay. But if it will get you to play it, I'll... <laughs> you don't need... To, you don't need to buy it for me. Uh, you don't know if it's gone to Switch now? If it's on PC, I can possibly try to get it at some point. Uh, what kind of game is it? Is it an RPG? Because I do enjoy my RPGs. It is on PC. Okay. I'll have to look for it. <laughs> oh, it's a Metroidvania. Oh, no. That is, like, my true game weakness right there is Metroidvanias. I am really, really bad at Metroid games. <laughs> But it is a sequel to Ori in the Blind Forest. Okay. It's on PC, Xbox, and Switch. If you die less than 1,200 times, you're not the worst I've seen. <laughs> Good to know. I... I don't know yet. Though you know what? You shouldn't take my word for it. You should take his. I think I'll be running into him anytime soon, from what I understand. But you're the Hades kid. You want to pull some strings on our behalf? Go right ahead, I guess. But I won't hold my breath. Even if I could. Why is she so pretty? Anyway. So, Ori. Ori is a game that you all want me to play. Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna get punished hardcore for, for dying in that game, but, you know, we'll see. For reference, I was pretty damn pleased with myself when I finished it for the first time with 80-ish deaths. Is it that punishing? It somehow glitches that too- Hey! I don't mean to! I don't mean to! You bet. Well, you make your own save points. Really okay. Until next time. Stay cool. So it's as punishing as you let it be. Okay. More bone rakers. Good to know. <laughs> Bye. I'll I'll have to look that one up because it does sound interesting and pretty cool. Um, I do need to branch out with the games that I do play because <laughs> I have found some pretty cool games that I've been enjoying. You know, I I ended up finding uh, Hades here and enjoying that. Or enjoying this, rather. I've tried, um... Oh, the the Resident Evil Zero. Tried that. Uh, played... Played Forewarned with Soot. 
Oh, I, I'll probably cry within the first 15 minutes. Oh, that's always a good sign. Making Cheshi cry on stream. That's a, that's a good idea. <laughs> Ooh, Palm Heart or Charon. I think we're gonna go for the health. Probably gonna regret that, but... <laughs> That's a relief. Alright, let's go get a diamond. Go get that diamond. Don't you have something to say to me? Yeah, hiss. Hiss, hiss. Even if I just stay right here, he can't hit me, so... Oh, I guess he can. My bad. I didn't think he could hit me. You know, that's- that's fine. This is fine! <laughs> music for this game. It's just so amazing. Seriously. Oh. Ooh, buddy. Aw. Ooh, you wanna... Uh, what's your next tattoo? I've been wanting and craving a new tattoo for a while myself, and I've been looking at a couple places to do it. Um, I miss getting tattoos. It, it's been seven years since my last one, and that's, that's a long time. I don't know what I want to get for my first tattoo back. I'm kind of contemplating something on my wrist. Like a little cat to look down at. Um, just to like make myself happy. <laughs> Ooh, tattoos and same. I need to find a new person to, I can go to. Heck anxiety. <laughs> yeah. I. It's just. It's been a while. <laughs> You're thinking of getting the pre Columbian shield on your left shoulder. Ooh, that sounds cool. That sounds cool, Jag. I- I support this. It, it's been a while for you, too. Uh, I kinda wanna take my friend Prim and go get her fast, first tattoo and maybe go get, like I said, just a little kitty. I- I wanna get a little kitty on my wrist or something. Almost like Neko Atsume style cat. Um... Just like to get back into tattoos mostly finding a person you're comfortable with that's that is the challenge um finding someone you're comfortable with someone who has the art style that you like there's a guy by us that has a beautiful art style and i want him to finish my chest tattoo at some point um but there's some stuff that needs to go on before i like try to do the chest tattoo because that one's gonna be expensive um but he's got a really cool art style and he seems like a really good guy. He came highly recommended by a restaurant owner that we enjoy. Um, so, and he, he did get back to me and he said that he'd be more than willing to look at my art style and see if he would take it in um, to be in his shop as like Flash or something, which was really, really cool. Um, so gonna, gonna try to see if that's something I can do. Yeah, I want to look at art styles before getting my next. I want something colorful. Ooh. I want to get something colorful to cover one of my thigh tattoos. Um, I want to get like a cameo tattoo. 
like one of those sparkly cameo ones, but I need to find someone in my state in kind of area that does that style of tattoo. And that's the challenge for me right now. I'm gonna do a quick sketch of it and upload it to give you an idea of what I want. I would love to see that. Make sure to post it in the discords. All right, I was gonna go for the feather duster. Keepsakes hold power. Get my okay. feather duster back. Bye, Asphodel. Done. We're to the green place. <laughs> yeah, don't go getting too tipsy. I know you're trying to cut back a little bit. Um, let's go for Opal. Ah! Do your worst. Don't say that, cause it will. Hate you, butter. Fly balls. Butterfly my balls. <laughs> Don't like them. No. Sadly, you had a bad falling out with my old tattoo artist friend and have had anxiety looking for someone else. I feel like it was probably best not to get that close, but also my anxiety fucking. I'm sorry. Um. I had a tattoo done, most of my tattoos were done by someone I lived with uh, for a while. Uh, another one of my tattoos was done, my chest tattoo actually, was done by my friend's dad. Um, pretty cool dude, it's just he's not doing tattoos anymore and I don't want to drive two hours or so to go see him at like 5 a.m. Um, and then the last person I got a tattoo from was from out of state and they were here for a tattoo convention. Um, so yeah, I've, I've been tattooed at a convention, um, which was a really cool experience. I got to get a tattoo by someone that I had seen their portfolio on Tumblr. Um, and I kind of wish I had saved up a little bit more money and gotten another one while I was there, but... It was a lot of fun. Um, that was also the weekend that I got to meet the Enigma. Uh, for anyone who knows who that is, uh, he was super awesome and very, very sweet and kind. And he drew a puzzle piece on my shoulder uh, in one of my tiger heads or lion heads. And it was super cool. <laughs> you would love to go to a tattoo con and get tattooed. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. It, there was a little bit of anxiety with it because people are watching you get your tattoo but it was fun and my husband who was just my boyfriend at the time he was surprised that I wasn't flinching and the guy who was doing my tattoo he's like you are my stillest client he's like do you feel anything I was like I mean yeah but it's not the worst thing ever <laughs> so he was like you're one of the best clients I've ever worked on <laughs> so that was super cool uh, should have seen you yesterday. Had a lot of enlightenment moments. Oh, jeez. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? You found out uh, you have a decent pain tolerance, though. Especially the dragons around your collarbone. And they said I should have been awful for me. Um, I found the collarbones weren't so bad as the sternum. The sternum was the area that sucked. But that's, that's also an area that when you're getting it tattooed... It is harder to breathe because of the vibrating in your chest. Um, so we had to take more breaks there than I did for the collarbones. Um, I do really want to get the chest piece finished and finished to a point that I like. And I do want it to wrap around underneath um, eventually and be all Final Fantasy themed. At some point, I need to get a tattoo for my little one. And I'll be getting that on one arm, I think. Or on my on my back, um, on the shoulder area. And eventually I want to start on a character sleeve of just like all the game characters, book characters, movie characters, all that, 
that I have fallen in love with and connected with. Um, so like Reno, Tifa, they would be on there. Maybe Red 13, um, possibly Twilight Princess Zelda, uh, a couple of the Persona game characters. Um, I want to get some of the Studio Ghibli characters. It's just like all these characters that I've connected with on on my arm just like a full sleeve it is a goal and it's a lofty goal <laughs> and i'm trying to figure out if i want to start from the bottom and go up because then you can just like put the character start down here and put the characters as you go up and that would be almost easier than going down uh for that tattoo and then i also want the cameo um i do want another pinup tattoo like a monster girl pinup i've got one which is a zombie i want one on the other side and i do eventually want to get tattoos on the side of my head where i shave my mohawk so i want my next one to be tarot because it's something i feel has helped me grow spiritually and mentally specifically the magician with a kitty holding up a wand that would be super cute you should do that mystic thinking of building up your arm i think that would be super cool i'm gonna put this one Let's go, Coronacht. Um... I love tattoos. I love seeing what people like getting for their tattoos. Because there... Hit the spot. There's so many things you can do, and they're just... Oh. <laughs> I'll take this one. Do I do it? I'll just have a look around. I'm gonna grab this quick and get get bronze skin. Should I do it? I like him, but should I do it? <gasps> Borrow! <laughs> I heard this is one of the... <laughs> I heard this is one of the hardest boss fights. He's cool with it. <laughs> Quote unquote, he's cool with it. Wow, thank you, Charon. Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm about to have big regrets. Oh, hi. Oh, no! Um, Charon, look, I, I can explain. It's just, I've grown very accustomed to taking stuff throughout my father's realm. I wasn't stealing from you, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Sun death fighting over gold. Oh no! I wasn't stealing. I was just taking it. The one I want is a shield because of in my own chaotic heart, I have the strong urge to protect something, even though I know I don't know what. I feel that like you just have a protective urge, unlike me, who had the urge to be a gremlin right now, and I feel like I'm going to regret this. Bruh. Oh, I'm sorry. That was not an understanding sound. Wait, why are you brandishing your oar in such a menacing way? <laughs> Regret is for the living. I'm about to be not living, huh? It's because you're going to kill me. Oh god. Ah! Oh god. He's a zoomy boy. Ah. <laughs> Ow! Just got batted with an oar. 
Oh! Oh my gosh, this music. When you can hear the music! It's awesome! Ouch. Yeah, I'm not trying to get hit. It's owls, I know. Ow! Ah! Look, I, I never said I was a good gamer. Ah! Or that I wouldn't regret this. Oh no! I lost. Ouch! Ow! Ah, now it's coming from two sides? Ah, full four! Oh crap. Hey, have I ever told you that I'm not good at timing things? Uh, uh, ow. I have regrets. I have regrets. Uh, you've never actually done it, so you encouraged me. <laughs> so, <laughs> thanks for doing science. You, you're most welcome. <laughs> I thought you had done this. I have regrets. I have regrets. Do 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 do. This really hurts. Do do. Ouch. <laughs> no regrets. <laughs> I do regret this though, because I do actually really like this character. <laughs> he is a helpful friend. Oh no, he's destroying stuff. No, there is no place to hide now. Don't like this. No, no. Ah, the music is awesome, though. Okay, this one's not so bad. Ouch. Okay, ouch. Ow. Ooh. 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 Ouch. Wait, did I win? Wait, I did? What? This is not so bad. <laughs> No way, a membership card for me. I get 20% off! Much of the boundless river Styx cuts through misty Erebus, providing for the river boatman Charon a locale in which to deal with the unruliest of souls. Nice place you got here, mate. Interesting. <laughs> I get a membership card for stealing from him. Look at these savings. Okay, that was cool. I wonder something, short one. I don't know why. You're trying to get out of here, aren't you? But something's killing you up there. Why? Why am I going right into another boss fight? Oh god. You've deduced more or less correctly, Asterius. And yes, let's say there are some challenges remaining once I get out of Elysium. Right into so another boss fight! Oh no! <laughs> That's fine. It's good to know you've fallen just as often as I have. I have regrets. <laughs> At least Asterius is easier than what's his face, but oh god, I have regrets right now. It was a good science experiment. Oh, I'm glad y'all, y'all enjoy the science. We're science, science rules. No, no. Ah! 
Ouch! <laughs> you don't got this! <laughs> Can you have a little bit more faith in me, please? <laughs> I have faith. Thanks. Thanks for believing in me. I appreciate it. You somewhat don't come. Ouch. At least I can get hits out of Sirius. Ouch. Oh, I'm probably gonna lose. You can't be chaotic and nice in one turn. I'm sure you could find a way to be chaotically nice. Been chasing me. Oh, there's a death defiance. I mean, it's just one death. It's okay. It's just, it's just one death. This is fine. This is fine, we can possibly get another one. Ouch! That 300 gold definitely buys a Death's Defiance, yeah. So it all works out, really. Good to know, good to know. I haven't made horrible decisions tonight, not really. In the name of Hades. Hmm. I do enjoy some revenge damage. But I don't have a cast yet. Hmm. <laughs> left, right, left, right, select, start. I don't think that works in this game. <laughs> It'd be cool if it worked in this game, but I don't think that works in this game. It's a pretty good cast. All right, let's let's go for it. Let's go get some more oval. Not bad at all. Ah! At least these ones don't meow, but. Don't like the slowdy boys. Wasn't so bad. Okay, not so bad at all. Coin for care of. Oh, got a decent amount of oval. I think for the no next trouble. area that Caron shows up, um, we are going to pause there and do our snack reviews. We got lots to try, so I'll have you all maybe vote a little bit over which things we try. Uh, the first thing is the almond drinks. There is saffron, rose, and butterscotch for those. 
Uh, so if you want to pick which one of those we try tonight, um, once again, that is Saffron, Rose, and Butterscotch. You say Rose, so Rodan, Rudan, is that, uh, am I saying that? Rudan? Uh, ooh. I do enjoy attack speed though. Snack review? Yeah, we're gonna do that soon. I have a feeling we're gonna have guests for the snack reviews as well. Snacks? Should we just do the snack reviews now? Snacks. Let's do snack reviews now. Snacks! Snacks. Sneaky snacks. Alright, it sounds like... Hold on, bud. So we've got two votes for Rose. These are called... Or the brand is... Vadilal. Quick Treat. I'm guessing I'm gonna need to... Shake this. Best served chilled. Eh, that's fine. Shake well before use. Oh, you don't see Tacti? Hold on. <laughs> you oh, you didn't see Tacti? He scared you too. <laughs> I, my hair got or my hair got caught up in your tangle of lights. So oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even turn those on today. All right. So, sounds like rose is the flavor of this we're trying tonight. Um, we've got two types. Of Cadbury's, we've got caramel or fruit. So, do we want fruit and nut tonight or caramel? You you all vote and pick. Both is good. <laughs> you want to do both? Yeah. Tell them about the chum chum. Oh God! So we so we got something called uh, chum chum, which is like a canned thing, and the flavor the flavor was, was okay. The it, flavor was okay. It wasn't even okay. It was just this side of neutral. The the texture though was like biting into a squeaky sponge. Yeah, it was it was some sort of like cake like sponge cake in a syrup in a can. Yeah, I feel like the gulab jamun would have done better. Yeah. But the chum chum just the spun it was squeaky yeah. and that was what turned me off with that one. So you're you're voting for both yes, Cadbury's. Obviously. Uh Jag is voting caramel. Uh we'll probably do both. Both Cadbury's. Why not? Um should we just eat open all of these too? Let's just go nuts. Yeah. All right, we'll go nuts. We'll do it all. Yeah. Um should we start with a salty or a sweet? Salty. Okay. So these are India's Magic Masala Lay's Chips. And we're going to try these. Uh, the lady in the checkout did say these are her favorite flavor. Oh, that definitely smells like masala. That smells? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is masala. I think that I think I need another one to like build the flavor a little bit. It's hard to place. It, it tastes just like the masala seasoning. It it doesn't. It, it tastes like if you were to sprinkle it over a potato. Really, um, they're not bad. I can tell that the heat from them is going to build up because they. You can feel it in your throat. These aren't bad. I'm not sure I would get them again. Okay. 
it is better than the Peepsy, yes. <laughs> it is better than Peepsy. Peepsy. I will never do Peepsy again. <laughs> Peepsy. 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 I'm kind of neutral I'll about do them. Some more. Um, it, they're it, not bad. The heat, no, the heat is not terrible. Um, I think it's gonna build up a little bit. I feel it in the back of my throat for the heat. It definitely reminds me of something, but I can't place what. It tastes like, you know those um, those potato filled things. Samosas. Yeah. No. It no, it tastes no. like a samosa to me. No, no. No. No, samosas are like sweet. They have like the peas in there, the potato, a little bit. This is like. This has like good heat. It's not bad. It really is not bad. I do enjoy them. All right. They sound like your kind of thing. Well, you can find oh. them at an Indian market. They almost remind me of my wasabi peas. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that would make sense. Kind of that spice. All right. Uh, do you want to try caramel first or fruit and nut? I'm fine with whatever. Let's do fruit and nut because we haven't tried this one yet. Uh, so this is a Cadbury Dairy Milk Fruit and Nut Bar. That heat and that chocolate are going to go well, I think. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's Cadbury. We know Cadbury is good. Chocolate fruit and nuts. It's it's Cadbury. It's it's good chocolate. I mean, it's not Indian. It's not it's not something. No. Go, oh yeah, Cadbury, famously of of of, <laughs> of southern India. It's yeah. Just good, it's just good chocolate. I mean, it's good cheap chocolate. I mean, I don't know if it's like. Tasty. It is. I actually find myself going back to these chips. <laughs> yeah, for being something that she said was, uh. Yeah, I don't know. It, it, it just tastes like standard Cadbury. I was expecting more like the Japanese chocolates and like the Kit Kats from Japan. Their no. their flavor is different. No. It, it just tastes like typical Cadbury. Still good, but it's just very typical. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing this isn't like a regional Cadbury that they changed the formula to you know to match like the specific flavor palette of India. I think this is just something that they enjoy. Target, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's just standard. It's not bad, but... Okay. I'd like to try the drink. Is that a jelly drink? Mm-mm. Okay. It's not mm. something weird that's gonna... It's a rose almond milk drink. It looks like it's light, light pink. I think it has slivers of almond in it. It's very floral. Yeah, the almond slivers through me. It's very floral. It's not bad though. It's not bad. I, I, I can't do things in my drinks like that. Yeah, I feel like I would like it more chilled, so I'll probably chill the other two before we try them. Chilled over crushed ice. It tastes like a rose milk tea. Yeah. It, I, I could do without the almond slivers. The flavor is not bad. Um, I do like the the writing. Um, oh, the Arabic? Mm-hmm. So it actually has... If it can focus. 
Uh, it's not going to focus. Uh, it does have Arabic on the can, which is really cool. Um, can kind of see it. Just a really floral milk tea with like chunks of almond in it. It's not bad. I'm not sure I'll get it again. I am excited to try the other two flavors, but I'm not sure I... The, the rose just tastes like a rose tea. A rose milk tea. I feel like I might be needed to Bye -bye. Sh <laughs> shake it a little bit more, but it's fine. Should I, we do the cake? Yeah, I can start opening the cakes here. The small we have the small child off camera. I think <laughs> about every ten seconds asking for these cakes. <laughs> um This is a parental decision, not a culinary one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, oh, it's it's in a it bag is in a box in a bag. I I have a feeling it's gonna be pre-sliced because it feels like it's pre-sliced, but it is okay. legitimately a big cake in a package. Uh. I've been called similar things. Oh, this this is not pre-sliced. I'm going to need a knife. No, you're not. Chomp it. Munch it. Munch it. Ooh, that smells good. Oh, it smells like Pantone. Sorry. Uh, I have a thing. Oh, I thought that was pink. For, I, I mean, yeah. There is this cake that comes out around Christmas, which is like a fruit cake, but not soaked in alcohol. And it's called a Pantone. Um, and this smells exactly like that to me. And I, I'm... It looks moldy in the multicolored light. <laughs> it, it's got chunks of fruit because it is fruit cake. Um, okay, it's nice and moist. Take a chop. Ooh, that's pretty good. I could stand to get that again. I like that. This should go really well with that chai tea that we got. Mm-hmm. Okay, so take take a bite of this and then drink the milk. Mm. I, I think that's going to go really well with the milk or like a chai. Yum. Yum. That works? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this was a fruit cake. Gobbles. Gobbles fruit cake. It has papaya and vanilla. There, there's a lot of stuff in it. Ooh. You should just dream where you read ingredients off of it. Just, <laughs> just aspartame? I, no, there is none. Okay. <laughs> I, I got scared for a second because they have two different ingredient lists depending on if you get it in Australia or New Zealand versus the USA. But that's nice. I do like that. Orange. This smells like some of those uh, British cookie things that I used to get from World Market. So this is what this looks like. These are called Fab. They are like an orange and chocolate cookie. Um, I, half a cake? I, maybe? They were like a soft kind of sponge cake. They had an orange jelly inside and they were dipped in chocolate on part of it. And I've seen them, they've, I've seen them a, a couple different brands. Um, this smells like those though. Just a lot crispier. 
They're not bad. Tastes like orange Fanta or something like that. It tastes like a crispy version of those things that I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, you want half a cake? I'm guessing it's, if it's from England, it's probably not a soft J like that. Jaffa? Hoffa? I know... The English are not known for their so here's the Spanish th language. The thing is, like, we... We tried... The, I... I would buy those cakes things um, and there were like a couple different ones. We, I would usually get, I think the British one, but we got some with the Indian food that we tried a while back that your work sent us. And I was really, really excited about that. Yes, there is an extra. We're, we're trying, we're trying and reviewing snacks. I do like these. They're crispy. I feel like I need them with something to like dip in. Could be. But they're not bad. You open one, I'll open the other. Or do we want to do we do one one of the other drinks next? We have butterscotch and what? Cape Fire Kessler in the cup. Saffron. Really? Oh. Look at that. You want to do that one first? Crispy little fab cookies. They're pretty nice. Um. Before I open it, yes or no? Sure, I do want to save one for like another stream. I'll save the butterscotch one for you because I don't think I'm going to like that too. Much. Yeah, you don't like butterscotch. I, I do. Oh, like, that needed to be shaked, sh shaken first. Well, you know, you know, good enough. Yeah, I still can't get. I I still can't do the almond chunks. So so this is. This is the saffron version of the rose. This one looked like it was bright orange. Oh. Yeah. That does not smell sweet at all. It is. It's sweet, but in a battery acid kind of way. There's a metallic. I've never had real saffron, so this might be the stuff that's like saffron. I actually don't mind this. I don't either, but it it tastes like milk tea, like proper Indian milk tea. That... It's the texture. Wait, what did I expertly do? Oh, <laughs> when you opened it before oh, shaking yeah. it. <laughs> well, I usually open things before drinking it, so. I said shaking it, but. I like this one more than the rose. I think I like the rose one better. The the rose is just a little too floral for me. I like this because it, it does taste more tea-like. Oh! I can dig it, though. Okay. Okay. I think I would like them even more chilled. So you're going to open the pineapple cookies. These are cream cookies. Um, Mana retrieved the brats for you. Tell... <laughs> tell Mana that we said thank you. <laughs> so he has the pineapple creams. And I've got what we are guessing is like milk flavor. Yeah, you go, you go take a, you go to sleep, Rudan. It was nice having you. I am having a hard time placing the smell of this one. Oh. 
Um, They're very crunchy. They kind of just taste like a neutral cookie. There is not much flavor to that one. No, that one definitely tastes like pineapple. This one is, um, I want to say Dunkaroos. But only like vague, hint of, like hint, of hint of Dunkaroos. Hint, yeah. The <laughs> Dunkaroo. of um, It's not like a Trace Leches. It's not. There's not vanilla. There's a vague coconut. Coconut, yeah. Like, just a very light amount of coconut flavor. Oh, these ones smell amazing, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, it, it's... When we were doing the Japanese snacks, they taste like what they say. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'm just not familiar enough with these flavors or what, but like, I don't know. It's hard to place. There's like something extra there. We have definitely tried more Japanese snacks and recognize more Japanese flavors than we do Indian flavors, I think. Well, it's not even, it's not even that I'm recognizing the Japanese flavors. It's just like raspberry, strawberry, chocolate. Plum. Corn. Yeah, corn. Some of the some of the sweet Butter, corn. Yeah. Mm. I like the pineapple. The milk one needs to be dunked in coffee or chai tea. Yeah. They're good. They're very, very crunchy. Um out of everything you've tried with me, which is your favorite? Oh, the chips, hands down. The chips. Okay, oh, so you like hands, the chips. Hands down. What would you rate them? I don't know. I gotta try another one. <laughs> There's not many left, so if you want more, now's the time. <laughs> you're you're also absorbing the sweets. Yes, do a honey and almond gel mask. That actually sounds quite nice. You know, they definitely grow on you. Um, I wasn't I wasn't overly fond of them. I wasn't overly fond of them to begin with. Um, there was something in there that had almost kind of like an egg flavor. But now that I'm more used to it, I would say I'd put those at about maybe like a seven. I don't like them as much as I like the, the butter chips from Japan. Oh, the butter, the honey butter or, ones? Or yeah, probably any of the chips from Japan were better. Um, but they're, they're not bad. I, I like them more than a lot of the American flavors. Yeah. Um, okay. So a seven, that's not a bad rating. Seven. I'd, I'd put them about on par with like a sour cream and onion or a cheddar. Okay. I think I rate them personally like a five or six. I'm kind of neutral about them. Okay. They have a good flavor. It's just not a flavor that I would go for a lot. Uh, so I'm going to rate those at like a five or six. I think my favorite thing is the cake. Okay. And the cake, it reminds me a lot of the Pantone that I like, which I can only usually get around Christmas time. Um, I'm going to rate that cake like a nine. And that's I feel a, like... That's a nine for you? It's a good cake. Especially it, nine if I'm going to enjoy it with like a tea. Seven and a half, eight without. But it is a good cake. It reminds me of Pantone, which I really like. Um, what was your least favorite? My least favorite? Probably the rose drink. Okay. The rose drink is just a little too floral for me personally. And yeah, there's something about the texture of it that's a little odd. Even for someone who likes Mogu Mogu and like bubble teas, there's, there's something just a little bit odd about the texture of it. 
Um, the saffron one I do like significantly better because it reminds me more of like a chai milk than the rose does. I'm tempted to put one of the drinks as the the least favorite. Not that they're horrible. I just can't. I just can't do drinks with stuff in them like that. Mm-hmm. Um, aside from the drink, I'd say the fab, the orange chocolate, whatever. It seemed like it was trying to be a chocolate orange, but it didn't do the chocolate very well, and it didn't do the orange very well. I feel like it would have been better with like a jelly, an orange kind of jelly inside as to versus like a frosting kind of thing. Because the frosting is kind of just not as flavorful and a lot more artificial. Yeah. Um, well, I feel like we've been I, we've probably been a little bit spoiled by the Japanese snacks because it's like it, look if, if a Japanese snack says it is chocolate and orange, by God, it is chocolate. Oh my God, and those orange. those Kit Kats were amazing. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's like good chocolate in a Kit Kat. You're not you're not having to pay five dollars for good chocolate. Yeah. Um, I think the next thing that I like after the cake. Is probably the pineapple creams. They're very crunchy. I do prefer stuff that's a little bit softer. But the pineapple creams have a nice flavor. I don't... I I want to say this is coconut flavor. Because there is that... It's condensed milk. Evaporated milk. Something like that. Mixed with coconut, you think? Possibly. That would make sense. It's just it's hard to place, and I I don't I don't love I don't love things that I can't really place. Yeah, I, I, I want to know what I'm liking so I can, I but, can compare it. There's almost like that flavor from rice pudding. A little bit. Sorry, sorry for talking with my hands. There's almost like the flavor from rice pudding, but only vaguely. <laughs> yeah, like the cure that you might get. I forgot something. But wait, there's more! Yeah, I forgot something. Oh, the thing that you actually chilled. Yeah. Oh, you brought the ice cream down here! <laughs> of course! Uh, so this is a little single serve butterscotch kulfi, which is like an ice cream. Oh, I'm trying to get it open. It is suspiciously quiet, so I'm going to be back in yeah. like 10 seconds here. The, the ice cream also sounds delightful. I can save you a little bit of it if I can figure out how to get it open. Um, the, the pineapple creams are pretty good. Uh, I would get those ones again. I don't know that I would get the other flavor. But there, there were a couple other flavors, too, from the cookie brand. How is this supposed to open? There we go. Like that. Oh, there's a little... <laughs> so this is from the same brand that did the drinks. There's no eggs in here, like American ice cream will have. What's up, Virtue? Hi, Virtue Cap. Is it that good? Mm -hmm. okay. If it's delicious enough that you need to eat the whole thing, I won't begrudge you. So it looks like there's chunks in here. But just from licking the lid, it's pretty nice. Is that a new favorite? It is a new favorite. You don't like butterscotch as much as I do. There's some almond in it, I think. But it's that's actually not bad. Again, it's not that I don't like butterscotch, it's that I I personally think it's a little bit overused. See I like butterscotch and feel like it's not used enough. 
Infinity War. <laughs> I could get this again. I could take a spoonful of that again. <laughs> it's very creamy. Sorry, friend. <sighs> it's very, very creamy. Oh, it, it's got coffee oh. in it. Yeah. It's foamy. That's the thing. It's like an aerosolized ice cream. It's very, very nice. Uh, yeah, that's, that's not bad. I still like the chips better, but... And honestly... Oh, well, that's like coffee through the middle? There's not a ton of butterscotch flavor. And I'm getting mostly the coffee. Ah, oh, thank you for the raid, Nagisa! Thank you! Welcome, welcome, everyone. I am Chesh of Zombie Cheshire Productions. <laughs> welcome, raiders! Uh, you can use she, her, or he, him pronouns for me. Uh, I am a goth streamer and part-time VTuber. Um, I like doing snack reviews, and you actually caught us in the middle of a snack review. Uh, we're trying Kulfi. And we have tried most of the other snacks so far. How was your stream, Nagisa? I have to put this away if Prim wants any. <laughs> This is good. This is good. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be getting this again. So this is this is a ten for Cheshi. Really? Uh huh. Okay. This is a ten. Noted. And there's no eggs, so I think this is vegetarian friendly in the very least. Um. Chicken friendly. <laughs> I'm gonna put that right in the freezer, which is build up of ice. So. It was really fun because I got all the mods to work. Woo! And nothing blew up in your face. Awesome. That's always nice. She loves looting, and I don't know how she can fit or carry all that stuff in the little bag. It just defies logic. Well, I mean, it's probably a handy ha- uh, uh, One of those haversacks. Heward's handy haversack, right? In d, &D? I, I was reading something. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, I believe I only have 4,000 pounds of loot. How? How? You're playing Skyrim, right? How? I call it a Mary Poppins bag because it's the only thing that makes sense, right? Or the grandma from Halloween Town. <laughs> that sounds like a fun time. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, new... New favorite thing from the snack reviews is the the kulfi. Um, I'm going to be getting that flavor again, and now I want to try some of the other flavors. The rose tea is still at the... Or the rose almond drink is still at the bottom of my list. It's not bad. It's just a little too floral for me to like. I like the saffron one significantly more. Uh, it tastes more like chai tea. I'm terrible at getting Skyrim mods to work. Res much respect. I haven't played modded Skyrim. That'd probably be the only way that I'd be able to play it. And I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have a loot problem. I don't, I don't take everything that's not ale now. <laughs> it sounds about right. I like to go chasing the butterflies when I play those games. So, you know. I I gather all the herbs and and butterflies when I play. All right. Oh. All right, all right. All right, all right. What is... Out of the things we got, what is something that you would be willing to get again? I mean, the chips, obviously. The chips, okay. Um, I, would get, I would get the fruitcake again. Um, I mean, the Cadbury doesn't really count, because that's Cadbury, whatever. Yeah. It... That, that's, that's barely even new. Um, the chips and the cake. Yeah, I'm not even counting these because they're, it's Cadbury. Well, and I would like I like making my own fruitcake, but I would want to soak that in rum. Maybe I would want to soak so in some very heavily spiced rum and red wine. Maybe like we could do that for half of it, but I like that it tastes more like the Pantones, like I said. Um. Well, I'm gonna go make some food. Yeah, you you go do some post stream care. You love Cadbury eggs and you wait for them all year round. Oh, 
Well, this we, wasn't even the eggs. This yeah, was, this this was yeah, just a chocolate bar. Just a a Cadbury chocolate bar um, that we found at the Indian market. Um, I thought maybe there were going to be like the Japanese Kit Kats where they made special flavors and maybe tasted a little more like an Indian version of chocolate. It wasn't the case. Uh, so I'm, I'm not even, powder over the top or? <laughs> no, like it, um, I wasn't expecting Americanized chocolate basically. Cad Cadbury Mockney. If you did it with the right curry, <laughs> it could actually potentially be good. I don't know. I, I just expected. I don't know. I just expected a little bit more of a different flavor I, versus. I, I, I didn't. Because, like, I mean, like the, like the woman at the checkout was saying, like, they're popular in India. It's one of those things where it's like, that's what they like. You don't have to, like, make it Indian if, that, if that's just, like, a popular item. Put it on a shelf as is. Right. Fair. All right. Um. All right. Well, thank you for helping me for, with snack reviews. Anytime. Anytime. <laughs> no, no, that's time. No, you. Did I do it right? <laughs> he found a way to sneak on stream. Pushing the rules. I want you want to snuggle the Bulbasaur. Why is it never snuggle the tacky? I don't know. I don't you know. Want to snuggle the tacky? I'm gonna uh, go get this small child upstairs because he is nuts. Yeah, I'm sorry. Do I need to end early? No, who's, oh, chicken and fries. Chicken and fries. What? What kind of chicken? I need to know details of this chicken. Give us the chicken, chicken details. No, no, oh. it's good. It's good. <laughs> You're not missing much. Uh, tender? Faye, no, hey, off stream. Faye, this Bulbasaur, by the way, is one of the Build-A-Bear Bulbasaurs, and you can let Chad explain the significance of that if you don't personally know. Um, Chicken tender type of chicken. Still delicious, cause chicken tendies. Do you have? Do you have the chalky milk? Do you have the chalky milk? <laughs> Shut the... Don't you want to know what? You don't want to know what the bulb went through. <laughs> oh yeah, you have Heineken. That's right. All up in there with their hands. True. <laughs> I have a friend that used to work there. He got me all the My Little Ponies, including a few other My Little Ponies and a Build a Bear Eevee. Nice. Alright. Well. I'm gonna start packing some of this away and then we're gonna continue our run through Hades and hopefully make it Past dead guy. Dad guy McGee. And see if we can go see our mama. You gotta go get ready and actually go to this party. You got this. I believe in you. Have fun, Prim. Um Alright. Packing up some snacks, do 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 do, except for me, do 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 do, and we'll, we'll ha we have some of these snacks left over, Prim. So you'll get to try some tomorrow. Got to try to make it through the rose and saffron drinks here. Um, I feel like I should get this. Skibbity bum bum bottom bum. Ouch. Right back into out.
Here we go, one more time, skibbity, wop, pop, 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 Ouch. I should be looking for more health in things, because I keep forgetting that I have that ability. No! No other chairs! No! 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 Bad meowing chariots, I don't like you. Well, there's the death defiance. Membership has its perks. There's our death defiance. Yeah, that'll come in handy. There's some health. Mm -hmm. I'll take that. And if we're getting Karen, we should go to Karen. Okay, if you try any of these drinks, shake them very, very hard. Apparently, I did not shake them enough, so there's like stuff, more than the almond stuff floating around in them. And uh, it's odd, it, it's weird. Cause it's like, vaguely slimy. Um, you're not angry with me, are you, Karen mate? I don't know. I... I'll pay for that. <laughs> I love how he's making note of the things that he's paying for now. If you would keep you from your victory just for a bit of coin. Ooh, I love Jolt. We haven't done his his call though. Let electric. See if we can get this and upgrade it. All right. Let's bounce. Oh wow! Let us destroy him quickly, King. Or perhaps slowly. Oh, Theseus didn't even talk this time. Oh, shut up, Jesus. Why is Theseus so annoying? Out of all the bosses, I think Theseus is the most annoying to me. Maybe because he is so pompous. I don't know. And he blocks everything. I know I can use my call, but I don't want to use call yet. I want to see the max call for the Zeus thing. Because I have a feeling it's going to be quite handy against Theseus. I 
I had targeted Theseus, but you know, that's fine. He's almost done. Alright. Now to concentrate on I am not. I'm actually in front of you. I don't particularly want to be beneath you. You don't see my type, if we're being honest. Notice Doom is very handy against Theseus. God, buddy. Hard. Oh, he got drunk old. No! Drunkle has got to be my least favorite for him to end up with. Uh, there's a lot I can do. Like, actually defeat you. Hurts. I'm probably gonna use that Death's Defiance that I ended up just buying. you at all. <laughs> That'll teach him. But I did it. Look at this. Hope you enjoyed the show. Mm, almond skin. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that I'll be getting the rose one again. Or any of them. I'm glad I tried them. They seemed very interesting. I'm not sure I'm going to get these drinks again. Eventually the almond chunks get kind of... Kind of hard to take in. Oh no, I forgot to say hi to my shade! I was in such a rush in taking a drink that I forgot to say hi to my shade buddy and tell him thank you for cheering me on. Oh no! Oh, looks like we got some decent stuff. Let's, uh... Let's go see what we got over here. We'll go for health first, and then palm, and then possibly the other stuff, depending on uh, what all happens. Well, that was fast. That was easy. 
Seder didn't even get to spit in my face. Hey. This is a lot of rats. Okay, I like ratties, but that's a lot of rats. <laughs> like a lot of rats. It seems to be going a little too easy. I... Hmm, I don't like this. This is going too quick. This is going too smooth. I'm not struggling. Something's wrong here. I'm not struggling and I'm using the bow. Um, So the bow is really nice in the sewers. Got it. Understood. Oops. Some health I actually don't really need as much for once. Ah! Big ready. This is fine. Oh no. Okay, yep, there's there it is. Quit hitting me with spin attacks! Ew! Quit it spinning on me! I didn't ask for this! I don't quit! Yuck! I don't like it! Yeah! You're gonna make me drop my croissant! Dick! Hickey! Ick! Gross. No like. Um, let's hey go guys. for an upgrade. Ah. A, a, it seems like the surface world has the highest concentration of gold pots. Is that just me? Are people just like leaving sewers full of gold? Seems seems a bit wasteful, honestly. Truly, truly just wasteful. Who who flushes? Who's flushing gold down the sewers? Who, who does that? I mean... That could be nice. Sure. It's not a death defiance, but I'll go for it. There it is already. <laughs> okay, I'm good. God's grant me strength. Mm, Doom inflicts more. That would be nice. Dash damage. Or reduce damage. Ooh. That's a hard one to pick. We'll go for the bronze skin. Power it up. I do because I prefer silver. It's prettier. Plus, I'm allergic to gold. Hey, actually, I am allergic to gold too, and it's very explore more tunnels. Uh, honestly, I'm not used to finding people who are also allergic to gold because apparently it's a rare allergy. But I did find out something interesting about gold allergies. That is a scuffer. Um, gold allergies can happen in children who have been pierced too early in their lives. So if you were pierced before the age of five, usually when you're an infant, you are more likely to have a gold allergy. And I didn't know this until I was talking to someone about having a gold allergy, a jeweler actually, and they were like, yeah, we hear that a lot of people who were pierced as infants 
before your body's immune system can work up, have a gold allergy. So, I gotta ask, did you get your ears pierced or anything like that when you were an infant or anything like that? You didn't get your ears pierced until you were a teenager. Okay. Hmm. That is interesting. I am allergic to gold myself. It also makes me break out. Uh, the only gold thing that I can wear safely seems to be my wedding band. Um, it is vintage. And I have yet to experience a problem on my hand, but I can't wear gold necklaces and I can't really wear gold earrings unless it's like yellow colored silver. Um, I just, I can't do gold for most things. I break out too, so I get it. But if someone's gonna start throwing gold bars at me, I'm not gonna flush it. <laughs> just saying, I'm not gonna flush those. Kind of like to keep that kind of, kind of thing. It, even that makes your fingers break out a little bit. That, that's understandable. Um, I mostly stick to silver because I also prefer it aesthetically. But for some reason, my wedding band is the only thing I can wear that is gold that has not make made me break out yet. Um, it was also a very special gift to me, um, and it's got a lot of, uh, family history value, which is another reason why I really, really like it. The matching gold necklace that I got to wear on the day of my wedding, though, which was from the same era, wearing it around my neck <laughs> made me break out. Um, so really my ring is about the only thing that I can wear that is gold. I do have a gold circlet, but I can only really wear that uh, if it's not touching my skin too much. So I've got to wear it over my hair, but I do okay with that. When I did get my ears pierced, I didn't break out. I was told it was a nickel in the gold that made me break out. Whether that's true or not, I'm not sure. Gold usually does not have a ton of nickel to it. Um, so really only cheap, cheap, cheap gold will have nickel. Depending on where you got pierced, though, it would make sense if they had really cheap gold. Um... Do I want the Blood Frenzy, Battle Rage, after Slaying a Flow? Mm. We're gonna be going into the Hades fight soon, so I feel like this one's not gonna be as effective. But this one... This one I can, I can go for. More Doom damage, even if it takes a little bit longer to activate. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, Claire's... Claire's does not have good gold, uh, so you might actually have a nickel allergy. <laughs> you can't go a full day without causing some chaos? What did you do? Jag, what did you do? Oh, shh. Fair. Alright. Here goes. Oh no. Ada ada. But <laughs> you are most welcome. Now for five minutes of playing with the mask. I'm the mask, I'm the mask, I'm the mask. Me. You wouldn't think wearing mesh over your eyes would, um, 
impair your vision much, but you know, it, it does make things a little, a little blurry. <laughs> and I, I, it's like I have blinders on. I can't, I can't see anything around me. Hello, Rallius. How are you? We're, we're plague masking it up over here. What have you been up to, friend? Oh. Yes, indeed. Uh, hydrolite. Hmm. Deal damage, striking foes from behind. Meh. I forgot to remove one of the bags of potatoes from your Walmart delivery. Oh no! Were you able to, like, go back? You're, you're content with the chaos? Well, good. I'm glad you're contented with the chaos you have created. Yeah. No. More things. There we go. Okay. Oh, and more things are going to spawn. You're toting it down, so of course. Okay. Meh. No. Don't want to get hit. Meh. Quit hitting me. I do not like it at all. There we go. Ow! No! Where's my... No! There's too much here! No! Quit hitting me! Yuck. Iggy! It's only six dollars. I mean... It, it's still, like, if you needed your potatoes. Alright, Rose is gone. I don't... I don't like this one. I know it's a faded choice, but... Weak effects are more potent. So let's go for that. That's also a faded choice, and I actually like that one more. Well, no, I bought a five pound or a ten pound bag and a five pound bag. You just forgot to remove one. Oh no! You hungry, Cerberus? I bet you are. Hmm. I mean, this, these abilities are always nice. Associate there with the boats. Souls of the recently departed gotta make it over to the underworld somehow. Part of my job. I bring them in, he takes them down. Oh, you didn't intend to buy both? Uh, that is a lot of tater. I, I admit, that's a lot of tater. Can dash more times in a row? That is kind of nice. But dash to recover. Dash to recover is nice. Power of Olympus. Um, more lightning strike? We'll go for that. I do like that. Okay, um. Here's the fee. Whoa! Ooh, I like that. Okay. I enjoy that ability. Let's see here. Do you think we can defeat Hades in nine minutes? Do you think we can defeat Hades in nine minutes? Or should I save and like I save it for next time? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna save it then. It has been a little bit of a day with the little one, so I think, honestly, truly, we're gonna save here. And we'll go do an early raid. 
How's that sound? Oh, I can't. I have to leave. Okay. Time to go. Well, I have to do the fight in order to save. <laughs> so I guess we'll just have to talk to Mama next time. Let's hope that we can defeat Hades quickly. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get accustomed to the breeze. To think Olympus has been aiding you. You must be so grateful to them for their aid, without which none of this would have been possible. Yeah, about that. Father, did... did you let Mother go because you feared Olympus would find out? And not respond well to the circumstances if they did? You just uploaded the sketch? I'll go look at it after stream. Be grateful they have not found out as yet for all your meddling. You do not know them as well as you think. Ask yourself why she left Olympus and how. Or better yet, ask her. Well, she seems quite lovely, so knowing you, you probably tricked her into signing a pact to come join you or something. Since you weren't allowed on Olympus, why not have Olympus come to you? Ooh, that... Zag, that was mean. Surprisingly not distant from the truth. I took her, boy. I took her down with me. Is that what you wish to hear? Does that anger you? Come, bring forth that anger then. That doesn't sound genuine. That does not sound like what genuinely happened. I actually preferred to finish the chicken and beer before uploading it. Uh, fair. I have a feeling that he just lied to us about how she came to be in the underworld. Do I have to observe anything, or can I just, like, not? Yeah. This is gonna take a long time with the air, the bow, isn't it? Yeah, the bow isn't a particularly fast killer compared to the others. Yeah, I'm noticing. Like, it's, it's cool. You can stack it up to be really cool. I admit that. But it's kind of slow compared to the other things. Even with this version of it. Prefer my faster paced weapons. For sure. At least I get to hit pretty quickly, though. So, it is kind of nice. And if I can hit him with Doom effects. Oh no. 
The doom helps a little bit. So what? So what's up, Dad? Call me. Domi. Domo Orogato, Mr. Dad Bato. Greater call. No, hit him. Yep, come on. Keep hitting him. Please. Ouch. Okay, that was not quite worth it. Maybe it was. I don't know. No. This is Paul isn't too great for ranged weapons since you have to be on top of the enemies you want him to zap. Oh, okay. Well, I made a mistake then. <laughs> But it is kind of helpful still. And it was the only call I was getting offered other than Athena's, which Athena's is okay, but I don't like it nearly as much. Have you though? I feel like you haven't had enough of me, Dad. to call it at the exactly wrong moment, as is tradition. <laughs> Maybe I'll get it again. <laughs> Will you though? Will ya? Then the game mysteriously glitched. No! Don't say that! dodging today. I mean, it could happen. Yeah, that's fair, but don't. <laughs> don't curse me with glitches. No wants the glitch. Okay. Ominous. 
in the name of Hades. All right. Why? Okay. We'll go see Mama at the start of next stream. See, I knew you could do it, sorta. All right. Let's, uh... Let's raid. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, stream schedule goes out tomorrow. Uh, we will only be streaming on Wednesday, possibly, this week. Um, and then next week is also going to be a little bit weird. So... I will, uh, I'll keep you all updated with all of that jazz. Let's go see who's raiding, or who we can raid. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do the chaos voting again for a while. It was funny, though, and fun. Y'all are just chaos in Discord. Um, I think we're going to go raid Shibata. Shooty booty. Playing Kill It With Fire. I don't know what that is, but let's go give Chibata a raid. Um, he has been doing a subathon for a while, so please, please give him lots of support. He deserves it. Um, he's trying to help his kitty cat. So we will uh, see you again uh, probably Wednesday. I'll let you know. Like I said, everything's in the air and... Bye bye. Bum 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 bum